In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Skyewala had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. It soothes the soul, doesn't it? I had come to think that this sea was so blue in my memories, only because I was young the last time I saw it. But I remembered right. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. <sighs> You're not here to fight. Your mother wants you to be kept safe, not thrown into the front lines. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quinctus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again.
You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. You are not my subordinate. Please, call me Kaiser, if it isn't too familiar. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. With all due respect, I'd better not. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You are to join his command staff as Tribunus. You will have very little responsibility. The Tribunus of Allegio assists the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. You will not see combat, nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. I'm sure the console will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. For many years, I was the primus pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. That position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Happy to be at your service. I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus as well. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. I heard he's running from a senator who wants him dead. Shh! Keep your voice down! Salway. <laughs> I am not anybody's man. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart, my father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. looking for? He's been like this all morning. Mm -hmm.
Busy, yes. Not now, please. Ah, you're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. Ah, shit. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship!
Where's that gladiator who boarded with us? Up there! Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. lived other lives before this one.
last. We are nearly done. Back to Neptune's asshole, barbarians! Ugh. The Triarchus ran us straight into the pirate ambush, Prime. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be working with them. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Geminus, you steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea! How can anyone come from Norway? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. Huh. What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? I'm just a humble Cantorio. Albeit a particularly well-dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. We are close to our destination. And we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy Doubt, hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. We are, many of us, important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been... inconvenient. Indeed. Thank you. If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Rowers! Up the tempo! And keep your eyes open!
Gentlemen, welcome to Lesbos, the pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply, then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius. All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. Domine. I am hungry and my face is wind burned, but at least both of my feet are planted on solid ground now. To save your life, of course. She firmly believes the Witelli killed your father. Sending you here was the best course of action. The Moirai rarely care about our wishes, and sometimes to do one thing, you have to do another thing. Dominus Lucius Licinius Lucullus was a close friend of your father's, and a supporter of your mother's efforts. He is now the closest thing you have to a father. You ought to keep this in mind. Besides a good wine, a warm bath, and a thorough massage, uh, not much. <laughs> Thank you. But you should think about yourself, Domine. I would get used to my surroundings and visit the Consul as soon as possible. We're here to accomplish something. Time to find out what it is. Salve. I am called Bester Tabat, indeed. You fight well. I noticed it. You may ask, and I may answer or not. Your name is unusual. <laughs> Tabat is the name that was given to me by my father. Bester is the name I took when I earned my freedom. I chose it because I have fought and defeated many beasts. I was born in Mauritania, but I am a Roman citizen. Until I undertook this voyage, I fought every single day in the arena. But wars? This will be my first. I recommend you to not die. Honor matters little. He who stands tall in the end will always be a winner. They say Lucullus has the greatest military mind in Rome. I only know he is consul and imperator, but I don't understand what that means. This is my first time seeing a senator outside of the spectator stands. Then, from what I have heard, we are in good hands. It will be an honor to fight for such a man. He will fail again and cause the death of someone you care about. And that death will be your doing. Mark my words. How long are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy, too. I came here to kick Mithrida Tiz's ass, not to sit on the beach day in and day out waiting for something to happen. That other legion. A bit wet behind the ears, aren't they? Everyone starts out that way. True enough. Soon they'll be veterans too. Oh. This is not going to work, as long as the rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoris.
straight to business. You are your father's son, indeed. Very well, let us skip the greetings. The occultist speculatories are, shall we say, a special cohort assembled for particularly daring undertakings. And you will have to prove yourself as part of it. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. Mithridates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mutilene. So be it, then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. Take Caeso, Quintius Aquilinus, your servus, Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. I expect you have questions. If you're worried about your future political prospects, have no fear. We will tell everyone you served as my tribunus with great distinction. That doesn't make what we're doing any less important. Mithridates has a dozen warriors for each of our legionari. Defeating Pontus will require patience and caution. Regaining control of the Agaia Mari is a crucial step in cutting off Mithridates' supply lines. If you are fast, you may yet play a part in that. But for the assault to succeed, you must do this first. Prove yourself, and you will be able to name your companions. However, you will want Kalidus on your team. Trust me. Wait. Are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look. The leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. Galway. Does it matter? For the sake of this discussion, let us say he was a traitor. In the end, we are triumphant and the pirates are dead. The Triarchus, if indeed he worked with them, now knows he picked the wrong side. In a war like this, Allegiances are rarely about ideology. The common person wants nothing more than to be on the winning side, and we have shown Geminus that the winning side is ours. Fascinating, isn't it? The Legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Indeed, staying in Rome became, shall we say, politically disadvantageous to me. That's why I left it. Like you, I've never been to Lesbos before. I did my homework, though, in case you have any questions. Lesbos is one of the most important islands on this sea. Some cartographers call it the Horse Island, on account of its shape. Location, I would guess. The island has countless coves and natural harbors for pirate ships to hide in, not to mention the massive fortress in Mutilene. Be that as it may, their position here is superior. Mutilene is right next to the sea and their fleet brings them supplies constantly. It's a stalemate. Of course. 
Interesting. <laughs> I shall accept this as a compliment. But prepare to be disappointed. To the extent of my knowledge and ability, I shall try to be as helpful as I can. Wait. Listen. You seem trustworthy. I may have need for your help on a rather sensitive matter. Your caution is well placed, but the sensitivity of the matter is rather personal in nature. I have tried pursuing a solution myself, but to no avail. I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. I believe it to be stolen by one of the Kenturionis. I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much admitted his guilt. Pain comes in many forms, physical, emotional, and let us say that some men just enjoy inflicting pain in all forms. Roman law is valid in Rome, and our perpetrator knows this. This is a personal matter, and therefore it should be solved personally. That I have already tried. He threatened me in a way. He said if I continue bothering him, he would read the contents of my journal publicly. I can stand by my decisions, and I'm proud of my actions. It's just that I don't want some donkey-headed brute reciting them in public. The Kenturio is called Agrippa, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I thought perhaps you could convince him to hand over my journal. Needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I would appreciate if you'd refrain from reading it. I saw a gripper harassing that old service with the limp again. That small dicked bully. Did you tell the Prefectus? He won't do anything about it. A gripper is connected back home. One day that man is going to fall out of a wall. We're in the middle of something, Tribune. What do you want? It will be tragic. Don't joke about that kind of thing. This? Ah, well, this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew. Who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen? He drew his blade pointed defiantly at the looming horizon. Set sail, he proclaimed. We have a world to conquer. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it again? Hmm, all right. I guess you rich kids stick together. Take it, and let's not speak of this again. Solway, I see you have successfully retrieved my journal. May I ask how you managed it?
You paid out of your own pocket. I don't know what to say. Thank you. I'm literally in your debt. Let no one ever say Gaius Julius Caesar owes money. Here, take it. One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? So there are some errors in it. Are you happy now? You betrayed my trust, but you don't need to mock me. It was my mistake thinking of you as a friend, for clearly you are not. Salve, Legionari. If you're here to get your weapons fixed, you must have me confused with Vulcan. Well, if he said it, I guess I'm obliged to make it true. Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the Consul's Centuriones. You'll have to bring your own materials if you want any work done. I've nothing to spare. The pirates are getting bolder. They attacked another one of our galleys this morning. Jeb! Can I just tell you too? That's right.
We might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Hey, don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatores of Legio Prima Italica. I presume you are my reinforcements. All right, great Prima. See that warehouse? They store Greek fire there. First order of business is to steal it. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So, we should be quick. By the time anyone comes from the city, we're long gone. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. The choice is yours, Prima. They get so close.
I can't take this anymore! We're almost at the end of this, it seems. Get ready!
advance! Those bastards! as it looked.
and craftsmanship. Strike for feeble old man. What did you study? Philosophy. You shall teach me this philosophy, and together we shall slay many foes.
all right. I'm going to live. This is it! Just one more! Wife and children. Careful with those jars. The liquid inside is highly volatile. It'll make quick work of those ships. This was the easy part. Now we have to sneak into the harbor and burn the ships. And then we have to sneak back out, one supposes. Not necessarily, but ideally. Sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 